Hey guys, welcome back to another tech tip. And over the last couple weeks, we've been working with iOS devices. So today we're gonna switch gears. We're gonna move back over to Android. I'm gonna show you how to set up your email under the email app on Android. Check it out. Just a few things before we get started. Uh, I am on a Windows 10 machine and we will be using a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus for this demonstration. I am also using a theme, so my icons may look a little bit different than yours. But the email app for, for Android works uh, very much the same. If you are on an older Android operating system, the wording or the icon or the app may look a little bit different, but the steps are going to be relatively the same. So uh, as you can see, I've got a live feed. The first step that we're gonna want to do is go ahead and open up the email app. So you're gonna want to navigate to all of your apps. On the S8 Plus, all you got to do is swipe up and you can see that all of the apps are displayed right here. And we're gonna select the email app that I've got selected and moving around right there. So go ahead and tap on that once. And it's gonna bring you to a menu of all of the different types of providers that you can use or that you can add to this particular app. So in today's demonstration, we are using just the email app. We're gonna be adding a Yahoo account. You do notice there is a Gmail option in here, but Gmail has its own particular app and we will be doing a video on that, the uh, next video on that and covering that in a different video. So today's demonstration, we're gonna be doing the Yahoo. So I'm gonna select Yahoo if you're using AOL or any of the others, go ahead and choose that. Uh, it all works the same. Just make sure that you have your username and your password for that. So I'm gonna type in the username for my demonstration Yahoo account. Once you've got that in there, go ahead and tap on next. If you have forgot your password, like I said, you're gonna to wanna to have that password. So go through the forgot password method, get the, or go through those instructions, make sure you have it. Uh, once you do have it, go ahead and type it in and then go ahead and click on sign in. It's gonna ask you that you're gonna to want to agree. You allow email access to the app. Just go ahead and click on agree. It's gonna go through checking the incoming and outgoing settings, and then it's gonna go ahead and set it up and it's gonna forward you over to your inbox. Now, right here, you can go in and click on settings right there at the top. You can change your sync schedule, the period, and retrieval size and settings. I'm just go ahead and go ahead and click on X because this is a very basic overview of how the app actually functions. Go ahead and click on X. You can see all of the emails are currently pooling in right now and you can kind of swipe through those. If you do need to refresh it, just go ahead and swipe all the way down till you get the refresh icon there at the top and it's gonna load the little bar and it's gonna tell you right underneath to the bottom right of the search, it's gonna say last synced. In this case, it was 10.51 a.m. And if you're going to want to send an email out an email at the bottom right hand, you're gonna see like a little sticky note or a little notepad with a pencil on it. Go ahead and tap on that. You can save the drafts, but you're gonna to want to obviously fill in your to, your subject, and then of course the body of your email. It does have this as a default signature. You can go ahead and delete that. You can add your own custom signature in the settings. Uh, if you do decide that you don't want the email, you can click on the X in the top left-hand corner. You can either save it, so if you do have something drafted, you can save it, or in this case, I'm just gonna discard it since it's an empty email discard it. Um, if you're looking to add another account to this particular app, what you're going to want to do is click on the three little bars in the top left, and then you're going to want to click on the gear. And then right underneath your account, you can see add account, click on that. It's going to take you to that menu where it had all those different providers and you can repeat the setups and have multiple accounts on this particular app. If you need to change some settings under your apps, you can go ahead and in this case, in this case I've got the Yahoo. So I'm gonna go ahead and you can go in, you can add different folders, go back into the settings, and you can see all the different types of settings in here. So if you want to make some custom settings in there, you can do that. And then like I said, if you wanna add like folders and stuff like that, you can go in, you got your inbox, your unread, VIP, start, send, all your, all your default inboxes or your default boxes for Yahoo. You can go down and click on all folders and you can see it breaks them down even further. And then down at the, down at the very bottom, you can click on create folder if you wanna start organizing your emails as well. So that's just a basic overview of the email app on Android. You can add as many accounts as you want to and set them up exactly the way you want to as well. Hey guys, thanks for watching that tech tip. If you liked the video or found it informative, give it a like, give it a share, leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. And of course, while you're down there, don't forget to hit the subscribe and we will see you on the next one.